artillery is going to make any large-scale deployments very messy. See what you can do to fix that. defensive shield grid. They're cutting off our approach vectors. When you reach the command platform, try to clear out the enemy forces and open things up for the next wave of reinforcements.
shows some kind of shielding around the Jedi Temple Library. The imps must be up to something in there. Drag the shield power back to its source and shut it down. Then see what's going on. I took down a Sith on Korriban and wouldn't shut up. You don't seem to have that problem, do you? Guess not. Oh! <laughs> 
Lord Go, the package is secured. You and your men can proceed with the additional... Uh, running a bit ahead of schedule, are we? Well, no matter. You can have your little temple back if you like. I'm done with it. You have an interesting view on the situation. You realize your attack failed, don't you? Failed? Really? All clear in here too, huh? Nice work. My men have finished securing the lower levels. Even captured a few prisoners. You didn't take any prisoners, Lieutenant. The enemy was relentless. You and your men were forced to kill them all. Understand? Understood. Guess it's all just cleanup from here. Gonna be a pretty major job, too. Anyway, like I said, the rest of the temple is clear, so you're good to head back to Colonel Derek. Until next time. Report your ailments. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Our forces are sweeping the rest of the muck off Tython as we speak, and reconstruction crews are already being prepped. This could have been much worse. Thanks to you, the enemy has only bloodied our nose and hardened our resolve. Timing of this attack, just as we made our own assault on Korriban? It's too much to be a coincidence. It's possible the enemy's intelligence isn't the shambles we were led to believe. I'm sure the SIS will determine how this slip-up happened. Yes, we will. Even so, you've just won two critical battles for the Republic back-to-back. -back. You're a hero, and heroes deserve to be recognized. The Medal of Valor. No commendation this prestigious has ever been awarded so quickly. The Chancellor was truly impressed, as am I. Congratulations. I appreciate the recognition, Colonel, but there's still more to do. I know it's hard to leave an operation sometimes. I've been there, but your part is done. Now then, I've been tasked with organizing the Tython cleanup, and I want to be sure the Jedi Council knows they have our full support, if you'll excuse me. I don't know about you, but I need a drink. Master Satil, wasn't it? Currently acting as emissary to the Dravos League, nowhere near Tython. We aren't close, of course. Your order is pretty particular on that point. She gave you up when you were a child, then. Not that I'm complaining. You Jedi have your rules, and it turns out I don't have your talent anyway. Everything's worked out for the best. In my experience, most Jedi rules only stand in the way of getting things done. Oh, then you are not like any of the other Jedi I've met. Even without the Force, I know when things don't add up. These Ops, Colonel Derek... Something's being buried here, I'm sure of it. But the real question is... Are you going to take your shiny medal and go home like Derek's hoping? Or are you ready to start digging? 
If you were to do some digging, where exactly would you start? I'd start by recruiting someone I could count on. Someone who'd be willing to face down the Emperor himself if it came to it. Then I'd find out everything I could about Derek and that Sith Lord you talked to. See if there are any connections. And then, once I found something, I'd contact my new friend and we'd get to the bottom of all this. But this is all just speaking hypothetically, of course. Of course. Been great chatting with you. We'll have to do it again sometime. See you around. We hope our inventory will meet your needs. Thank you for your patronage. 